Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the friction pads inside the hitch stabiliser, a vital part of the caravan when you're towing. We're going to check on them, make sure that they're okay, and if they're not okay, we're going to replace them and I'm going to show you how to do that. But as I was filming this in little sections, something else went wrong, which I'll mention a little bit later, and I'll try and show you how I'm going to rectify that. But in the meantime, let's look at the tools that you initially need just to actually uh, re remove the actual friction pads. Today's tools are quite simple. It's 240 grit wet and dry sandpaper, a flat head screwdriver and some brake cleaning fluid. So first of all, we need to do the obvious and that's remove the hitch lock. Now if you have the plastic caps that protect them, remove them with a flat headed screwdriver. Remember to make sure that the locking system is all fully upwards and it's ready uh, so that you can push the screwdriver into here and as you do, the actual friction pads will come out like so. So, just my look. I take out the friction pads, not a problem. And then I notice that the two O-rings that retain them have fallen out. And what makes it worse, they're actually damaged. Uh, they've gone dry and they now need to replace. And this is probably one of the most awkward and fiddly jobs that you'll ever do on your caravan. I'm going to show you the tools and the replacements that I've got. Now, I bought these from a caravan company online and they've assured me that they'll fit because I actually rang them before I ordered. So if they don't fit, I'm not going to be best pleased. But let's have a look at what we've got. So, I've ordered these from Hales Owen Caravan Centre. Now, he assured me on the phone prior to me actually uh, doing any ordering that they would fit my hitch. So I hope they do. Now, this can be a very fiddly job. Uh, I've got a set of long uh, tweezers which I'm hoping will do the job and fit the o-rings back into place but I've also got a fine screwdriver to help tease them in as well because you have to go inside a groove. Now uh, I have heard of another tip where you can actually use a pencil to do this uh, I believe it's a caravan engineer's trick so if all else fails we'll be getting a pencil so let's try this first of all. So I've taken the O-ring and I've just wrapped it around my set of pliers and what I'm going to do now is try and get it to fit. And it's not. <clears throat> Okay, so now we've removed the actual friction pads. As you can see on this one, it's very shiny. And that is not a sign of a good friction plate. It needs to be dull. I'll show you a brand new one next to it. And you can see the difference. Now I've chose to replace mine because the other one is a little bit more damaged. And uh, I feel that uh, it'd be best to re replace them. However, I'm gonna show you how you can refresh this one should you wish to put back the originals. So taking our brake cleaner, what we're going to do now is just score in a twisty motion with a wet and dry until we've removed all the shiny surface. This is quite dull now, like so. Now that's nice and clean and it's, it's got a rough sort of texture to it but it's also got a lot of divots and what I did notice especially I don't know if you can get this in profile the actual cup area is quite flat now uh, so these aren't as effective as they were if they were new so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace them but if yours are okay just fit them back just put push them gently back into position remember don't damage the o-rings like I've done well folks, I managed to get the actual o-rings in after 
a long time. This is probably one of the most difficult jobs I've done on the caravan to date. Now, the reason why I knew that I needed to check my friction pads was quite simple. When I was hitching the caravan up and I knew that the caravan was hitched properly to the, the caravan, I noticed that the stabiliser arm was a little bit, play, there was a bit of play in it. Um, and that is one of the um, clues that can help you. The other thing is sometimes it can squeak and grind a lot uh, and that's another uh, telltale sign. So follow the steps that I've done, but be very careful when you're removing the actual um, pads themselves. You don't want to do what I do and that is lose the O-rings. To be fair, I think my O-rings were past the prime because I've lost the caps off either end. So I'm gonna have to order some new ones. Now, the tweezers didn't work and neither did the screwdriver really. What did work was this. And what did they say? The pen is mightier than the sword. And yes, in this case, it's mightier than the tools that I had. One of my neighbors on my storage yard, I'd like to thank him very much for suggesting a pencil, but I didn't have a pencil, so I used a pen. But pen or pencil probably works better. He said he got the tip from a caravan engineer, so I'm now passing it on to you. Well, thank you to him, and also thank you to yourselves for watching. Uh, the O-rings uh, came to 13 quid plus delivery, uh, that's what I paid from, from Owens and uh, I'll leave a link to their uh, website below if you want to get some for yourself. But in the meantime, thank you very much, I'll see you soon, bye for now.